In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Montreal Canadiens and Carey Price. How can such a great goaltender be so bad lately? What's going on with Carey Price? That's coming up next. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you like keeping up with all the latest NHL news, trade buzz, stats, and analysis, and want an unbiased opinion on all 31 teams, hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, let's dive into today's topic, the Montreal Canadiens, and more specifically, Carey Price, the so-called best goalie in the world. Certainly has been far from it this season. He's got a whopping 3-7-1 record, a 3.77 Goals against average and a lowly 877 save percentage. What's going on with this guy? They come off an 8-3 victory against the Ottawa Senators with their backup, Al Montoya, in the net. Montoya actually looked pretty decent. I mean, yes, he gave up three goals, but the way things have been going in Montreal lately, that's actually pretty good. And considering the scoring has been up in the NHL this season so far, even allowing three goals by most goalies lately has been pretty good. But Carey Price can't seem to stop a beach ball lately. Hard to say what's going on with this guy, but let's take a look. Now, this season and years past, myself and many other people have always commented on what we call the Carey Price Factor. The Habs are really only as good and will go as far as he can take them. He was clearly, has been throughout his career, or majority of it at least, their best player. And really, it's, it's all on him for the most part, as they often struggled in other areas between either defense or offense or something. It seemed like in the last... I don't know, easily five seasons or more, the, the Canadians have had other areas of their lineup that have kind of been weak. But Carey Price has always made up for that. When you have a goalie of that caliber in the net, it often takes away a lot of those uh, deficiencies or they're not as noticeable out there. Really, at the same time, this season, they're not getting that. So they're low in the standings. Now, Montoya's been pretty decent for them. Um, obviously, I'm not sure why he's not getting more games, and I suspect that he probably will be going forward. Now on the other night when the Hams played the Senators, it was mentioned on the broadcast that Carey Price was giving the night off, which was a little unusual, seeing that it wasn't a back-to-back -back and it wasn't like an issue where he needed rest or anything like that. But it was mentioned that because of his recent struggles, that perhaps uh, he wanted to have some time just to practice, work with his goaltending coach, and kind of work on getting his form back in place in order to regain his, his game and to improve going forward. Well, the next game after that, he's back in the net. So they really didn't give him many days off. I mean, in the past, we've seen other top goalies go through struggles like this, and they were giving a little bit more of a stretch of time to kind of get things together. Obviously, that didn't happen in this case. And we went back in the net last night against the Minnesota Wild, and he just looked awful. I mean, the fact that he let in six goals, and I mean, there are some nights goalies will do that. And you look at it, and you don't mind, you look at the film, and like, it wasn't, you can't blame everything on him. And you can't last night, but a lot of those goals, you could. The first couple especially. I mean, one of them, he clearly gave the puck right up the boards, right to Matt Dumba, right in the net. He's not himself. I don't know what's going on with Carey Price, but clearly, uh, I'm not sure if it's a mental aspect of his game or his form, or is he injured and not, is it not disclosed? Something is going on here because he, he's clearly not himself. You can tell by watching the Habs right now, it almost seems like the players, when they're on the ice and prices in the net, you can tell it almost seems like they're uneasy and they're just, they don't have that confidence and they're not playing with that confidence like they would normally would in the past. Like a lot of goaltenders, when, you, when your team knows you've got A1 goaltending in that net and if you make a mistake, he's more than likely going to bail you out. You tend to play with more poise, more confidence, and you obviously creates a lot more offense because you, you can really play out there. You know, we've seen it numerous times with different teams, depending on what goal is in the net, if that team in front of them are not confident in their ability to stop the puck, then they're not going to play as well, which is going to impact the offense. And if the goal is not playing as well, it's obviously going to impact the goals going in the defense. So clearly something is wrong here. And it looks as though, in my opinion, that the team may be losing confidence in him because they just don't look the same when he's in the net compared to Montoya. Now, I know Montoya hasn't had many games, but in my opinion, I think the Hams should give this guy a rest. They need to take Price out, obviously give him a break, and get things figured out. Now, whether or not, you know, how, how much time is that, I don't really know. You know, but, you know, maybe give Montoya two or three starts consecutively. Maybe see if he can build some momentum. 
Um, obviously, that would be good for, for him anyways, regardless. And obviously, what's good for him or Price is good for the team. And, and Price needs to do some, some work with the goalie coach. I'm not sure what they need to do, but clearly he's not himself. Something's going on with this guy. I speculated before, and I have no idea if I'm right. It was just pure speculation. Just because it's well known that Carey Price certainly uh, you know, has a strong personality. But you kind of half wondered if he's not happy with that team and that's his way of sending a message. You know, would he, you know, not play to his best abilities on purpose? You know, I really don't think he would do that. I mean, at the same time though, like it wouldn't completely shock me, but I don't think he would let things go this bad this long is, is the point I'm making here. I mean, I, I can see him trying to send a message to management or to the coach, you know, in different ways. I just don't see it being done in that way. So obviously, as we well discussed here, something is wrong with Carey Price. Now, one thing I'll mention which I found interesting and would agree with is I heard uh, Ray Ferraro, analyst on TSN, on uh, TSN Radio, discussing Price's play lately. And his comment was, if any other goalie in the NHL was playing as poorly as him with these types of stats, they would be demoted down to the American League. Now, obviously, Ray is, is right. That would happen. Obviously, contracts do dictate who can be sent where and when. But at the same time, you know, the Habs and, and management, coaching, ownership, and fans have to come to a point where this type of play is just no longer acceptable. And I don't care who they are and what kind of a star they are, at some point they need to get things figured out. Obviously, Price just signed a huge extension uh, over in the summer. You know, he's, he's supposed to be with this team for a long time. And if he can get things together here, obviously that won't be a problem. But something's got to give here. So leave me a comment down below. What is wrong with Carey Price? Why is his play so bad? It just seems like such uh, craziness how all of a sudden after these number of years with strong performances that all of a sudden he doesn't know how to stop the puck anymore. And like, yes, the team in front of him hasn't been great. But in years past, they haven't been great either in my opinion. But he's bailed them out and has elevated them to a higher level of success than they probably should have. The Montreal Canadiens, in my opinion, over the last few years have overachieved because of Price's strong play. Now that they're not getting that, they're down in the bottom of the standing. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen so you can keep up with all of our future videos. And keep watching Top Shelf Box.